Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did another kind of purplish, pinkish look. I've been really wanting to try the Tarte eyeshadows and I wasn't deceived. These are um, the eyeshadows from the kit. What is it called? It is called Away We Go, which is exclusive to um, to Alta, exclusive to Alta. There we go, I found the store. Um, but I'm pretty sure the eyeshadows are not exclusive to this palette, I'm not too sure. But everything will, de will be listed down below. I hope you like it. Um, I've put on my bold lashes. This is really kind of a look I've been going for lately. Well, at least the placement, of course, you can switch the colors, do whatever you want, and I just have a simple neutral lips. So if you are um, interested in learning how to complete this look, well keep on watching. So the very first color I'm using is called Private Chateau, which is kind of a skin toned eyeshadow. It is matte, so I'm just applying that everywhere on the lid to make sure everything is unified. After I want to intensify my crease or define it a little bit, so I'm taking Café for Crème Brûlée and just running that into the crease very gently. Now let's move on to the purple eyeshadows. I'm taking Midnight Stroll and applying that basically the same um, spot where I've applied the matte brown I've applied before. So just running that very, very gently. <laughs> when I first started using Tarte eyeshadows, I didn't expect them to be so pigmented. So the less you take, the better it's gonna be. And the placement of this, like I said, is in the crease, but I'm also bringing it quite close to the beginning of my brow, so right underneath the brow. Of course, you can adjust, but I personally think I have small eyes, so to open them up, that's why I bring the eyeshadow so close to my brow. Then I'm going to darken up that crease, and I'm going to use the Liaison at the Louvre, which is a beautiful kind of midnight purple color. And I'm just applying that mostly in my V section of my eye. I really want to intensify that dark purple. And then I'm just making sure everything is smoked out. So taking a clean brush, doing back and forth windshield washer motions. After I'm going into my favorite pigment of all time, it is the Naked Pigment from MAC and I'm applying that quite generously onto the lid and at the same time it's going to define that crease wherever I've applied maybe too much purple eyeshadows. But this is basically just a neutral eyeshadow but it does have the little less amount of shimmer to it. After I'm going back into my Midnight Stroll and just applying that close to my lash line, making sure it's kind of diffused as well. As for the lower lash line, I'm using the same color, so Midnight Stroll once again, and I'm applying that, I would say, two thirds of the lower lash line in. I'm just making sure to smoke it out afterwards. I've applied it to make it very sexy and sultry. Once that you have diffused that, you want to go back into your darkest purple color, so Liaison at the Louvre, and apply that with an angle brush as close to the lash line as possible, or would say lashes. And I'm doing the exact same thing on my upper lash line, so right into those lashes, girl, making sure they look fuller. Still taking that very dark purple color, you want to apply that and intensify your V area, I should say. And I just want to make sure once again that it's very dark, very smoky. And then I'm taking a fluffy brush and just making sure everything is diffused and every color blends into one another. I'm now going to take this rose gold color called Snow Angels in the Park and apply that in my tear duct and just a little in the center of my lids. After taking the Intrigue blush, I'm applying that right above our purples we've applied just to kind of warm up the color. And of course, as a highlight, I'm using the Naked Pigment once again right underneath the brow and kind of toning down that pink blush, aka eyeshadow we've just applied. I want to open up my eyes and make me look wide awake, so I'm taking the Highlight Kajal Pencil from Kryolan and applying that quite thickly and generously into my waterline. 
I'm going back into my Intrigue blush and applying that on the apples on my cheeks. And as a highlight, I am using this light here, Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC, and this is beautiful. It has a little bit of bronze in it, so it gave me a little of bronzy feel to it as well. I really, really liked it. I haven't used it in ages. And as you can see, I'm applying it a little bit on the side of my forehead, on my cupid's bow, of course my cheekbones, and let's not forget the bridge of the nose, girl. For the lips, I wanted something very neutral, so I took my Aqua Lip in the shade 2C from Makeup Forever, applied that everywhere on the lips, blended it out. After on top, taking Jennifer uh, lipstick from Lise Watier. Then, of course, I need a gloss, so this is Lust from MAC. And right in the center, I wanted it to be a little bit more kind of pale, so I added Yuhu, the lip gloss from Buxom. And let's not forget lashes. Now these I've been wearing and wearing and wearing, and these are actually like two lashes or three stacked together. I'm not too sure. I don't have a name for them, unfortunately. And what you see me doing right now is curling my lashes. I swear, this doesn't hurt. It's just the way you're supposed to use this lash curler. So there you go, guys. This is the final look. Very, very glamorous. Less dark than my previous look I've done with the Lee's Wetty palette, but still in the same kind of uh, tones. Hopefully it's not too similar and you like it. But with that said, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.